and, and it was it was really difficult for me because he was saying, well, this is supposed to be your family. It's a family. Well, it's only a family when it's convenient for, for you. Like, when is it a family when it helps me too? Angel Reese trying to recruit Gabby Williams to uh, come back to the Chicago sky. Guys, let's get into this. Let's get into this conversation because um, Gabby Williams put on an absolute show at the Olympics. Uh, she was absolutely phenomenal. When we talk about, when we talk about um, really good players, um, especially internationally, Gabby Williams needs to be on that list because she, she's just great. You know, in the, in the, uh, in the, she, in the gold medal game, she gave it all she had, uh, left it all out on the line, um, had 19 points. It was really, really the uh, sort of engine for this team on both offense and defense uh, for France. And everybody took note. Everybody took note of what Gabby Williams uh, was doing, not just in that, in that, um, that gold medal game, but overall, uh, for the Olympics, she averaged 15.5 points a game. Uh, she was a huge catalyst for this team on on their defensive intensity, getting steals, um, just, just sort of hustling, just sort of being around, uh, getting hands in in in, uh, in pathways. And then and then when it came to uh, offense, she was a scorer. She was an absolute scorer. Um, and so that was huge for France as well. And so a lot of people were like, hey. Gabby Williams is straight up balling. Why isn't she in the WNBA? What's going on? She was with the Chicago Sky. Will she, left, will she ever come back to the Chicago Sky? Like, what's going on in that? And after it was all over, Angel Reese uh, decided to shoot her shot and try to uh, recruit Gabby Williams. So Angel Reese posted on um, X. She said, okay, now that the game is over, would you like to be a part of the Chicago Sky again? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um adding Gabby Williams and saying, I thought it wouldn't hurt to try. And Gabby Williams responds and says, or we could just play together for a different organization. Is that a, is that a wink, wink, nudge, nudge at unrivaled question mark? Hmm, maybe, but we'll move on. We'll move on. Um, and, uh, Angel responds, uh, with saying sigh and Gabby Williams said, they did me dirty girl. Uh, but I am still your biggest fan. So Gabby Williams said they did her dirty. They, meaning the Chicago Sky, did Gabby Williams dirty. And as a response to that, Angel said, them folks not here no more, but okay, okay, I get it. Uh, thank you, sister girl. See you soon. All right, so that is that was the response. Um, now, guys, uh, after Gabby Williams said, that the Chicago Sky did her dirty. There was a lot of people like, what? What did the Chicago Sky do? What did they do? Um, and um, when I was sort of looking at sort of recent articles uh, talking about Gabby Williams, um, I saw them sort of make um, like sort of like one line comments about, uh, you know, uh, James Wade and um, and feeling like uh, Gabby Williams wasn't committed. And that was it. That, that, that was it. And I was like, no, there's way more to this story. There's way more to this Gabby Williams, uh, Chicago Sky story than just James Wade uh, didn't think that Gabby Williams was committed. There's way more to this story. And I am going to d dive deep into this story because I, I was here when this happened. Um, I, was, I was a pretty big fan of Gabby Williams. And um, yeah. So uh, we're going to do a deep dive into why exactly Gabby Williams, um, you know, went away from the Chicago sky, uh, and what actually happened. Okay. Uh, so that's the question. What did the Chicago sky do to Gabby Williams? Uh, what did they do? Well, um, to give you a little bit of a backstory about Gabby Williams and the Chicago sky, um, Gabby Williams, uh, was a standout player at UConn. Um, she, she ultimately, she ultimately did get drafted, um, in the WNBA. Um, and, you know, when she got when she got drafted to the WNBA, she was um she was actually drafted by the Chicago Sky. Now, um, the thing about think about Gabby Williams, she drafted the Chicago Sky. She played for the team for three years. All right, and then some stuff started to happen. Um, then um, prior prioritization started to become a factor, and James Wade ultimately is the reason why. Gabby Williams left the Chicago sky. So let's get into what exactly happened between James Wade 
and Gabby Wooding. Um, all right. So in 2021, um, James Wade placed Gabby Williams on a full suspension. He put her on the full suspension list uh, for the entire year. And this is this is what happened. I, I believe this was in May of 2021 that this happened. Now, um, to sort of put this in context, he put her on the full season suspension list after um, she was selected to the French national team uh, roster for the FIBA women's Eurobasket. So a thing to know about a lot of WNBA players, uh, well, not a lot, a significant amount of WNBA players is that uh, a good amount of them have some sort of um, some sort of connection uh, to Eurobasket um, and uh, and uh, and that sort of thing. So so they are they're uh, citizens of another country and they play in Eurobasket and Eurobasket does take place during the WNBA season. So WNBA players will have to miss a little bit. They have to mi- they have to miss uh, part of the WNBA season to go over over to Europe to play in Eurobasket for their respective countries. The thing about Eurobasket, it's not club play. They're playing for their country. All right. Uh, so so uh, countries play in Eurobasket. And uh, the French national team announced that uh, Gabby Williams was going to be on their squad. Now, guys, James Wade, for those who do not know who James Wade is, he was the Chicago Sky coach and GM at the time. Now, uh, the coach and GM role is something that is not a thing really in the WNBA anymore. We used to have uh, where basically all of the coaches uh, for the WNBA were also GMs. Uh, that was due to monetary reasons. Like WNBA didn't have teams didn't have enough money to sort of p- to pay um, a separate GM and a separate coach. So they had the person do both roles, and that's what James Wade did. James Wade was the uh, head coach and GM of the Chicago Sky at the time that this was happening. So he placed her on uh, the full suspension list, um, and so let's sort of dig into specifically why he did that. All right. And again, guys, I am putting my sources on all of this stuff so y'all can go back and fact check me. And guys, this is um, this is based off of reporting from Andy Cosmo back in 2021. All right. Uh, So this is this is all sort of old material. I am not using new material uh, when talking about this situation because, guys, one, I was like partially like partially remember some stuff about this. And also because um, I find that when you're talking about old stuff, it's not helpful to look at new sources because, People forget what happened, okay? Um, all right, let's continue on. Let's continue on. So so uh, let's talk more about this story. So um, James Wade said at the time that he was fine with Gabby Williams participating. Um, according to James Wade, it was not a problem. Um, Gabby Williams playing for the French national team was not a problem when it came to, uh, when it came to, um, uh, when, it, when it came to, uh, you know, being on the roster. That was not the problem. That was not the problem at all. The problem that James Wade had was that a Stu Fall um, was another player uh, in the, in the, in, with the Chicago Sky who was also going to be playing in Eurobasket. And a Stu Fall, what she decided to do is she said, I will participate in training camp, then I'll go overseas, go to Eurobasket, then I'll come back. Um, so a Stu Fall was, going, was planning on doing that. Gabby Williams... Uh, decide did not want to do that so james wade said fine you can go you can go over there but um and this is according to um the chicago sun times reporting at the time uh but he wanted her to attend training camp so he was like hey you can go play for france that's fine but you must come to training camp and then leave um to go and compete with the french national team all right um and this is what James Wade said at the time. He said that, quote, quotes, she didn't want to do that. So James Wade, according to him at the time in 2021, said that he was cool. Go over there. Go over there if you want. Um, and, and you can play for the French national team, but you must come to training camp. You must come to training camp, and then you can go and then come back. Uh, but according to him, she didn't want to do that. Um, and... Um, James Wade, again, according to him, uh, said that, um, he, that, that the Gabby Williams knew her and her camp knew that if, um, if she was not going to begin the season with the Chicago sky, that he was going to put her on the full suspension list. All right. So it was like, Hey, 
if you're not going to if you're not going to be here at the beginning of the season, I'm going to suspend you. OK, uh, I am I am going to suspend you because we don't have enough players and we cannot afford to be down another player. All right. So that's kind of that's kind of the what he was saying at the time. Um, so he's, he supposedly he told her camp that that hey, if she's not here at the beginning of the season, she will be suspended. All right. Um, and, um, she, uh, was not going to be there at the beginning of the season. Um, and at this time, while this stuff was happening, while this stuff was happening, the Chicago sky was trying to trade Gabby Williams. All right. Uh, so, so while all of this stuff was happening, um, the, the WNBA draft happens, uh, during the WNBA draft, the Chicago sky was trying, the Chicago sky was trying to shop Gabby Williams during the 2021 WNBA draft. No, no takers. Uh, well, they couldn't agree with other teams about, about a trade. All right. Um, and, uh, you know, they were trying to get a trade to happen. Um, and before the suspension, it just wasn't happening. No trade was happening. They were in talks with the LA sparks, uh, before the suspension was made. Um, but, but no deal was, was done just yet. And, um, at the time, James Wade said that I was told she would never play for the Chicago Sky again. Uh, so James Wade, he suspended her, did a full a full season suspension. Um, and after that, he uh, decided to trade Gabby Williams to the LA Sparks for um, Stephanie Watts and Leonie Fiebig. All right, so that's sort of uh, sort of what was at the time reported, um, again, by the Chicago Sky. Uh, so, um, yeah, he he made the decision to uh, suspend her uh, because, uh, according to him, he couldn't be down another player. Um, and he would try to, he tried to um, sort of get uh, trade options to happen. But uh, unfortunately, no, no trades were able to be solidified until she was on that full suspension list. Um, and then, uh, you know, the sky and the sparks were able to agree on a trade. Now, a thing to note guys, a thing to note is if you are on a full season suspension, there is no coming back from that. So that, that's, that's the thing that is really the important caveat to know. All right. You know, James called me and asked me not to go to the team. Mm -hmm. Um, and that really hurt me because James of all people should have known how important this was for me, you know, um, said, and, and it was, it was really difficult for me because he was saying, well, this is supposed to be your family. It's a family. Well, it's only a family when it's convenient for, for you. Like, when is it a family when it helps me too? Um, I didn't want to ask for the trade, but he, um, he asked to suspend me right away. But at the time, I had a chance to say no. Hmm. So he, the day after, before I even had my dates for France, like the day after we found out that I was a uh, convoqué, he asked to suspend my contract. And uh, I said, no, I can't do that. You have to understand this being, if it was any other year, I could have agreed. Hmm. But being my last year on my rookie contract, I had to, I, I couldn't do it from my, you know, from a career standpoint in, uh, I kept hearing, you know, this is a business, this is a business. It's a business for me too. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then he beats getting, you know, very almost suspicious. One day he was angry at me one day. Oh, but you can go. I support you. Oh, actually you can't. And I had no choice, but to, ask for a trade. The night of the draft, I was expecting to be traded. And uh, of course, the night before the final four, I was up until like 5 a.m., 5 a.m., you know, getting phone calls from yeah. people from Chicago and everything. And it was the most stressful time of my life. I wasn't eating, I wasn't sleeping. Um, he was, it was, uh, yeah, it was really difficult. And ultimately I had to just demand the trade. Um, I, I couldn't be in Chicago. I realized they, you know, it, it was a personal decision for my career. Hmm. Sorry if I'm talking a lot. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. No problem. Uh, and ultimately, like, uh, you know, he 
he called me and suddenly was so supportive of the national team. And I was like, something is going on here because yeah. he was not supportive before. And that's when I knew he was going to do something behind my back. Unfortunately, I didn't. So I demanded the trade. Unfortunately, he found the one tiny rule that would still find a way to suspend me without my permission. Yeah. He knew I was going to be gone. He knew the dates of my training camp before. He knew I was going to be in Hungary. So there was no way I could stop the, the suspension. Um, but if I look back, I would do it a million times again. Yeah. Because, but you know, the chance to hold an Olympic medal in your hands, I mean, just to go to the Olympics, yeah. like it's, been, it's the best experience I've ever had. And uh, I, I, would, I would make the same choice a million times. And although it was really hard for me, um, I definitely made the right choice. I know I did. And I think show, true colors were shown. So I realized I wasn't with the right organization. And they went to win a championship. So it was clear that they didn't need me anyway. So I didn't understand why. He had to go through all of that anyways. I'm like, and I told him, I was like, you don't need me. <laughs> like, just let me go. So clearly, like, I, I was right, you know? And I'm so happy to see Slu, Ali, Z, to Steph, to see them win a championship. I was so happy for them. And I was happy with what, you know, it was everybody won. Um, I don't think it needed to be as ugly as it was, but I have zero regrets with how it turned out. Uh, so the, the, the important caveat to know is that once the decision was made to put Gabby Williams on the full season suspension list, she couldn't play again that season. So even though, uh, even though, even once Eurobasket was over, she couldn't come back to the WNBA that season because she was suspended for the full season. Even though she was traded to the LA Sparks, she couldn't play for the LA Sparks that season. She could not play. She could not play for them at all because she was on a full a full season suspension and that's that's sort of the reason why she doesn't mess with the chicago sky because there's no coming back from that you can't come back from a full season suspension you're out for the entire season um instead of getting a deal done uh before that to trade her somewhere else um uh you know they decided to go for a full season suspension and guys it is irreversible you can't again you cannot go back from that you can't um ice you're absolutely right yeah uh the the suspension was irreversible so that's that's the issue that's the that's the big contention right there uh, the fact that james wade put her on a um uh put her on a full suspension so that meant that she wasn't getting paid by the WNBA, even though she was traded to the LA Sparks and was healthy and ready to play, she couldn't do it. She could not do it because she was fully suspended. All right. So that is, that is something to know. And that is why she does not mess with the Chicago sky. Um, and that's why she, uh, declined Angel Reese's offer. Um, uh, even though, even though James Wade, um, ended up leaving the Chicago sky and, and going to, uh, become an assistant coach, uh, with the Toronto Raptors, even though he is gone, um, the memories, the remnants of what the Chicago Sky did to Gabby Williams is still there. And because of that, um, you know, Gabby Williams is like, she's like, uh, <laughs> in my head, when I think about Gabby Williams and the Chicago Sky, I think of that song, I don't blank with you. <laughs> like, that's what I think about. That's what I think about is, um, is that song because, uh, yeah, she don't mess with us. She don't mess with the Chicago Sky because of that. Uh, K.A. says, WNBA folks really be tripping. Um, Bill says, lose, lose. Uh, Zola says, James Wade sold all Chicago Sky draft asset assets and left us with nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, Jeremy said, James Wade blanked that experiment up. The 2021 uh, championship was all... Uh, Candice, Copper, Vandersloot, and Quigley. Um, but yeah, guys, this is a uh, it's very uh very interesting interesting stuff. I did want to just um, I wanted to uh talk through it. I wanted to uh I wanted to talk through it with you all to sort of give you all uh some uh important context about this situation because I feel like a lot of times people um people talk about about situations uh, and um, 
they don't put it in the context of how it was when it happened. And so hopefully this is helpful for you all to give to get a better view of what happened to Gabby Williams uh, when she was with the Chicago Sky. All right, hopefully, hopefully that is helpful uh, for you all. Um, uh, FM says, Queen of the Secular Music. I, just, I know that song because I feel, I feel like they played it. At, um, I don't even know who made that song, but I feel like, I've, like, I feel like I've heard that song so many times at like uh, arenas, like sporting arenas. And that's usually where I hear my secular music is at sporting arenas. <laughs> and they play it so much that it's just now, that, it, that it's like, you know, a, a phantom in my head. I don't know any of the lyrics. I don't know any of the other words to that song. I just know that I don't blank with you. Um, that's basically all I know. <laughs> uh, Patrice says, I don't blame her. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I so Toya says, I don't blame Gabby for not messing with Chicago anymore. Go where you're celebrated, not tolerated. Uh, Omega Khan says, with great power comes great responsibility. And Art Dog says, oh, that's double dirty. Yeah. Uh, Love's Crush says, 559 people watching, but only 118 likes. Just click the like button. Yes. If y'all could, if y'all could, please, please, please hit that like button. That really will help the channel out a whole lot. Y'all are watching. Y'all clearly have some sort of interest in uh, in these deep dives that we are doing. Again, guys, this is daily download. This is daily download, um, a, a sort of newish series that I'm trying to work through where um, I, I'm going to try to come, uh, come, come here like just about every day um, to give you all um, a blah download about what is, uh, what is happening uh, in the WNBA or what is just happening in women's basketball as a whole. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that is helpful for you all. And to give even further, even further um, sort of analysis about and commentary about this. Now, guys, um, you know, back in 2021, this was news. The fact that Gabby Williams was no longer going to be with the Chicago Sky anymore, that was absolutely news. And people had a lot of stuff to, people had questions. And uh, Matt Allen Truck, uh, a WNBA reporter, um, he actually asked James Wade, um, a question about Gabby Williams that he posted it on uh, Twitter back in 2021. Again, guys, all of the stuff I'm talking about is information directly from 2021. All right. From articles, from um, uh, interviews and whatnot that happened in 2021. All right. So um, here's what Matt posted on Twitter at the time in 2021. Uh, he asked a question to James Wade saying, Hey James, I know you declined to talk about it a couple of days earlier, but I was wondering if you had an update on Gabby Williams and if you were willing to talk about it, if you guys had basically worked something, some sort of agreement out earlier in the season since you were supportive of her French national team commitment before. And if so, if anything had changed. Now this was, uh, yeah, so this was the question that Matt had asked uh, James. And James said, no, I know it's, not, it's right now. Uh, nothing has changed right now. And... When I mean supportive, I meant supportive in, uh, you know, I always want her to go after her dreams. And uh, the thing is, with us, we have a goal in mind. And if you know uh, we need it, uh, if you know we just need it, our group of 11 players, uh, we have players like Stephanie uh, who, who's going to leave uh, for, the national, for, for the national team and Astu, who I talked about earlier, Astu Dufal. Um, who's going to leave uh, for the national team. And they made a point of priority to be here. Um, and so that was our whole, that was our whole thing is we needed them here. We have a season that we feel can be special. Um, and we didn't want to uh, put our players behind the eight ball because we only start the season with eight or nine when we don't have to. So that's, uh, so that's that. Mm. Uh, that was our whole thinking behind it. Uh, so the national team stuff started uh, really late for us. I didn't, I didn't know anything about it until really late, um, until the team had already made commitments. Um, my wife had won, had, has won more than anybody on the French team, so I understand how important it is. It's just uh, I have a job to do, and we, um, we just have to have our team together. And the fact that Stephanie and Astu were committed to being here, uh, that's just what it was. You know, um, 
So that's sort of, sort of his thing. He said, no hard feelings or anything like that. I just have a job to do, and I expect players to do the same. So that's that's basically what uh, what James Wade had to say at the time. Again, um, this was uh, Matt Ellentruck who who asked the who asked the uh, the question. So he's basically saying like, hey, I know that uh, that this is a priority for her um, to play for the French team, but uh, Stephanie and Astu they're playing for their uh, their uh, countries, and they were going to be here for for training camp, um, and uh, they put it as a priority for them to be there. Um, Gabby Williams was not going to be there. Um, and, uh, he just felt like because they were going to be there for, for the preseason that they were committed. Um, and you know, he has a job to do. He didn't want to have, uh, you know, a, a small amount of players to start the regular season. So, so that, that's kind of, that's kind of the thing. That's kind of what, that's what James Wade had to say at the time again in 2021. All right, thank you so much, James, for the super chat. Really do appreciate that. Says uh, like and subscribe. Yes, y'all. James did a super chat just to ask y'all to like and subscribe. If y'all could do that, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, Steve-O is saying James is not wrong in what he had to say. Uh, Kim, thank you so much for the super chat. Kim says, Quita, could you do a talk on the WNBA expansion draft and how they pick players to be on those teams? Yes, I can have that be a daily download, um, soon. All right. Yes, yes, yes. I, I will, I will have that be a daily download. All right. Uh, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for those super chats. I really do appreciate it. Um, Dela says, never comment. Uh, been here since 1K subs. Whoa, you an OG. You an OG awesome person on the internet. Uh, I appreciate your knowledge of the sport as a new fan because of Angel Reese. Y'all, the Angel Reese effect is real. The Angel Reese effect is real. I know a lot of people, um, not just uh, not just Dahlia here, but a lot of people who have who have uh, gotten into the WNBA because of Angel Reese. So y'all, that, that effect is truly real. And um, I think I might actually do a, a segment about that in the future because yeah, um, th there is an absolute missed opportunity that, uh, that the WNBA has um, of them and the Chicago sky has of not um, sort of uh, elevating uh, angel as much as, as they should be because uh, she can bring a lot of numbers in the door. I'm just saying. Uh, so maybe that's a, maybe that's a topic for another, another time. Um, but yeah. So guys, uh, that's the deep dive. That's the deep dive. And my question for you all, do you think that Gabby Williams will make a comeback in the WNBA? Uh, it's possible. It's possible that she she makes a comeback in the WNBA. I actually think that uh, we might see her decide to do something like Unrivaled. Um, so yeah, I, I, you know that that that's sort of my that's sort of my thoughts right there. I think she's a fantastic player um, and would be a huge asset to any WNBA team that that wants her. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know if she actually comes back to play in the WNBA. Um, I think I think I think if she wants to, I think you're gonna have you're gonna have twelve teams fighting for her. Well, one team is out of the, out of the running because <laughs> this is Chicago Sky. But uh, you know, you have a lot of teams. You'll have a lot of teams sort of gunning for um, Gabby Williams to join their team. She previously uh, played for the Seattle Storm most recently, um, and uh, would be an absolute huge fit for any team that that uh, that needs a player, which. All teams need a player like Gabby Williams. Uh, James, thank you so much for the super sticker. This is a Sheba dog riding with a brush, riding number one on a piece of paper. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you so much for those super chats. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Omega Khan says Gabby will join an expansion team. I think that's possible. I think that's very much possible. That is very, very much possible. 